What I mainly felt watching the film, and I felt it all the way through, was, why didn't we do this? We would have had such a big hit. Galaxy Quest is the best Star Trek movie. What if aliens thought that William Shatner was real? A lot of Galaxy Quest is the truth about Star Trek. It really does feel like a Trek movie because it has all the hallmarks of what makes a Trek movie work, which is never give up, never surrender. Like, you can overcome sort of any problem. Patrick saw it and was blown away by it. And uh, what did he say? I love this film. Dean directed Galaxy Quest as a drama. The studio never quite understood the tone of the movie. This is what you did? That's not what we thought it was. Post-production was the hardest part. It was a little contentious. That was in and of itself quite a challenge. It was falling apart. There was a literal fire. They cut all these scenes to make it a kid-friendly movie. Well, s that! How dare you? This is a Tim Allen movie. Is that what happened? We believed we were making a movie for everybody. I thought the movie was gonna be huge. This movie's gonna be a massive hit, but it wasn't. It's about the fans. Galaxy Quest really was one of the first films that celebrated the relationship that fans have with these kind of stories. Getting the call from Captain Kirk and he's saying the Enterprise is in trouble and only you and your nerdy friends have the information required to get the Enterprise out of the situation it's in. Like, that's the fantasy that we have. When you talk about the fans, I just hear you talking to me. We're one of you. What is the value of this silly thing we all do? What movies are and how we do them and why they're worth something and how we can mock them all we want, but eventually we fall for it. Everything happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Ah! Hey, Screen Junkies, click to learn how to see the full documentary.